This is an Italian Armed Forces Combat Food Ration Module B. Weighing in over 5 pounds, this 24-hour ration has a broad variety of contents, including a shot of cordial alcohol. This one was produced in 2014, and it was the 25,677th one produced to that date. Alright, so this thing was broken down into three separate components. Lunch being the largest, and breakfast being the smallest. So, let's first check out breakfast, which is on the top here. Here's breakfast. And here we got lunch. And here's dinner. So breakfast being over on the left, lunch in the middle, and supper over on the right. You can definitely tell lunch is the largest. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, in comparison to breakfast, which by holding it, breakfast literally feels like it's about one third the weight. All right, so let's first start off with breakfast. Got three disposable garbage bags. And along with it is an instructional pamphlet. There's an English translation here. Pretty much telling you what's in this ration, what it's for, its general purpose some common sense instructional pamphlet then these three bags should be three bags one two and for each meal essentially you have these nice almost seem like waxed lightly waterproof almost parchment paper sort of outer coating inner coating it's just like a regular paper bag decent size Great for packing out garbage. Oh wow, check this out. We've got three toothbrushes and a little thing of toothpaste. Now that's super nice. Right there, that is about as good as it gets that I've ever seen for dental hygiene in a ration. Top notch. And we got a little box of matches. utensil kit, which is in this case just a spoon and a napkin. Instant tea and some instant cappuccino and some disinfectant tablets. Got a pack of salt, a pack of sugar. Alright, here it is. Wow, look at that. Cordial spirit drink. Yep, I've had one of these before a couple years ago. And I'm going to show you the photos of those right now. This was some fantastic cordial. I mean, a light caramel undertone. Yeah, I've had this before. A couple of years ago I've had this ration. It took me eight years to find this module B the first time around. And I hope it's alright folks. I'm giving this one to Gundog4314. He deserves this shot. He's had an Italian ration before. His didn't come with it. I've had this ration before. I honestly do feel every ration reviewer at some point or another should get the chance to try this out. And they're so rare, so hard to, you know, acquire. In this case, there's only like the 25,000th one made in that year, which really isn't that much. And to make it into the U.S., this is one of the most difficult rations ever to acquire. A real holy grail item. Um, two apricot jams. Let's check that out. Not bad. This one here looks like it. I did. It did not leak. Not bad. Got a little dented up, but. All right, now we've got six fuel tablets and this top notch, I mean, this is like the nicest ESPIT stove out of any military ration. When it comes down to quality, I mean, anywhere. And there are various ways you can use this thing depending on the size of your cup. It's extremely versatile, very heavy duty. You could reuse this thing for probably years. You get one per ration, which is pretty amazing. And a nice 
chocolate cereal bar, 48 gram. These things are awesome. And in that picture I showed you before of when I had that cordial, I had that cappuccino and this with it. I must say, truly decadent. And three toothpicks. And one of them looks like it's got something stained on it. Can't quite figure that out. Maybe that apricot jam did leak. And that's it. All right, that's looking good. Let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. All right, so I want to start with that chocolate cereal bar. Yeah, not bad. It has a banana undertone, so I think it's like a chocolate banana cereal bar. First, want to check out this tea. It has a nice lemon smell to it. Now for this unsweet cappuccino, which they give you that sugar as an option. Last time I had this thing, I went without the sugar. I think I just added too much water to this cappuccino. Personally, I think that would have been best with five or six ounces. This is probably seven or eight. No big deal. Let's still check it out. Oh yeah. It's a little bit watery. It'd be perfect for five or six ounces. I put seven or eight. It's still really good. I'm going to check out the um, tea. Not bad. It has a very strong citrus lemon undertone. It's lightly sweet. It's a very good quality tea. As for this, mm, wow. It's like perfect cappuccino. I could have probably added two ounces of water less and would have done better, but still nonetheless. Funny, I always have my regular MRE spoon on hand so much, so often, I forgot to use this. The spoon is translucent. So let's check out this apricot jam. Oh wow, this looks nice. Mm. Oh wow, that is a very smooth very sweet. It's actually very tangy. Hmm. Wow. That is incredible. That is delicious. The, the only problem is this. The edges of this spoon is like literally sharp. I don't like that spoon. I'm going to go back to the uh, US MRE spoon. Okay, let's check out that cereal bar. Oh wow. That is a very fine crumble. Hmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. A silky smooth milk chocolate outer coating with a banana whole grain chocolate inner crunch. Mmm. That is one of the best international ration desserts I've ever had. Perfect way to start your day. Sometimes it's not easy to eat in the morning or to get moving. <laughs> the Italians, they definitely know how to get their guys started in the morning and with a nice little morale boost. Two out of the seven menus have cordial alcohol in them, so probably makes for a good trade item. Mm. That pronounced banana milk chocolate flavor. I mean, that has to be one of the best breakfast cereal bars I've ever had in general. Let's go back and finish up this apricot jam. Mm. This is incredibly good jam. Well, everything so far is perfect. And I mean, absolutely decadent. Let's finish this up. Mm. Delicious. Well, other than this toothpick and pack of salt, nice little toothpick. That about wraps it up for breakfast. So let's check out lunch. Okay, so here's lunch. Nice little cutlery set. Just a um, spoon and fork. Some crackers. Energy vitamins. These are essentially fruit flavored sugar tablets that are enriched with vitamins. Check that out. Nice little variety. Fruit cocktail. Another 50 gram pack of crackers. Pasta and beans. Okay, and right here is turkey and jelly. Okay, we got these brand tablets. These are pretty interesting. And the same brand as these vitamin tablets. And these brand supplements, I believe, are fiber maybe some B vitamins, essentially to help keep you feeling full, regular, definitely a welcome addition to a military ration considering 
a lot of times these things don't keep you regular. A pack of coffee and an 8 gram pack of sugar. And that's it. Alright, well that's looking pretty good. Let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Alright, so I want to first set this to the side. Bring up that S bit. Okay, so check this thing out. Pretty serious. Now, in order to get this can on there and still have those tablets in a proper spacing under it, we're going to do what Gundog did with his Italian ration. Check out his review. Now we're going to fold out this S bit like this. Throw two of these tablets in there. Oh wow, those things smell like fish. That's kind of weird. I've smelled other Espit tabs like that, but this was <laughs> this one's pretty strong. Interesting. I'm curious if one tablet will do. We'll do two, just for good measure. Also, with all these biscuits, I'm going to use this extra apricot jam that I got from breakfast. All right. Let's first get this stove going. Nice. A little bit of juices on the top. Has a light tomato ketchup kind of smell to it. You can imagine that getting kind of messy. See if we can get these both lit with this one match. That can sometimes be a little bit tricky. Sometimes it's a piece of cake. In this case, not bad. Decent. Okay, let's set this can on top. Not bad. That's already sizzling. Okay, let's stir that up a little bit so it doesn't scourge on the bottom of the can. Those two Espit tablets are definitely doing the trick. While well, that's doing its thing, let's check out the rest of this stuff. Nice. Nice little fruit cocktail. Stir that back up again. You know, it's one of those interactive things. If you don't have the time to heat this up, it's no big deal. But if you got the time, it's pretty nice being able to sit down and <laughs> use an Espit stove to heat up your meal. And in a lot of ways, at least in my opinion, it beats a flameless ration heater when it comes down to just nothing beats actually cooking your food. May not be as handy as a flameless ration heater, but sometimes Espit stoves are more thorough with their heating. Let's check out this biscuit. Hmm, that's an interesting kind of biscuit there. It's a little bit broken up, to say the least. It's pretty much crumbled into a bunch of little bits. But it's this very light biscuit. It's very airy. It's pretty neat. Hmm. Well, holy sh Okay, so these biscuits are very bland on their own. Probably going to be a lot better with some apricot jam. Let's check that out real quick. But this jam, I think, is going to bring some life to these relatively bland, airy crackers. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, these crackers are great because they can pretty much go with anything and in a pinch be eaten on their own. But, mmm, that jam, it's delicious. Now this is just still sizzling along here. And it seems like it's getting pretty close to being heated up. Alright, well that's just about heated up. But before I get that back over to the tray, let's check out this turkey and jelly. Oh wow. God, it kind of looks like a brain. Wow, look at that thing. Huh, I gotta poke at this with a spoon real quick. Um, wow. Cool. It's in that gelatin. Oh wow, and look at that rich inner part of this meat. It's this turkey loaf, essentially, in gelatin. Hold on, I gotta try this out real quick before I stir that. Mmm. Oh wow, that is very savory. Lightly tangy. Wow, that is delicious. Mmm. I have a better reading once I put this out. One sec. Wow, that was kind of crazy. Well, anyway, this is nicely heated up. Looking good. Okay, so let's get this out on the tray. Oh, that's pretty hot. Oof. Oops. Oh. 
That's a pretty full portion, including the um, the broth that it's in. Let's get that out of there before it gets slimed. Not bad. Okay, pretty much the only two things we got left before everything's trayed out is the coffee and those brand tablets. With a fine granule like that, you know, I'm gonna treat this like some Italian espresso and just do a small portion of water. Maybe about three ounces. Maybe not espresso exactly, but definitely a little bit stronger than your regular taster's choice MRE coffee. I'm curious to see in those brand tablets. Let's see how these are. Hmm, they expand. Yeah, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> I can imagine these things having maybe a small amount of nutrients, but certainly the fiber to get things moving. Okay, now let's check out the um, pasta and beans. This looks pretty good. Not bad. Mm. Oh wow, that's a delicious, mild flavor. It has like a light tomato sauce in a, um, it's like a light tomato sauce soup. Almost like a tomato bisque, but like very light. Not strong and creamy like tomato bisque. Mm. But, mmm, it's a little bit salty. This is delicious. Wow. Mmm. Very pleasing. Very easy to eat. Not offensive to any palate I can imagine. Wow. That's delicious. So let's check out the, um, this fruit cocktail. Um, wow, that's a nice looking light syrup that it's in too. Some peaches, pears. Mm. Oh wow, that's a little bit above standard fruit cocktail fare. Mm. Mm. It's not overly sweet. That's a delicious light syrup. And those pears, they're not overly grainy. They have the perfect texture. Those are fantastic. All right, so to give you this in the utensil packet for lunch, this interesting knife. And we're gonna cut into this turkey loaf, essentially. That's what this is. And um, see what we got going on here. Oh wow, look at that gelatin that it's in. That is fantastic, look at that. I think that really keeps it from getting too dry and gives it a certain body to it and a buttery kind of flavor. That's the way to do it. Just try this out. Work in a little cracker and Try it like that. Mmm. Oh yeah. Just do it like this. Mmm. It's incredible. This turkey. It's dark meat turkey. This is so much more than just standard canned turkey. And with that gelatin, it just gives it so much more flavor and consistency, moisture, and it just makes it so easy to eat. I mean, oh wow. I wish I could buy this in the store. The real star of the lunch portion so far. Fantastic. Wow. All right, so let's follow it up with a little of this Italian coffee. Check out that nice dark roast. Oh yeah, there you go. Not bad, it's not too strong. It is just a hair under espresso strength. Mm. And it would have definitely gone well with just maybe one and a half ounces of water. Would have definitely been espresso strength through and through. And with that eight gram pack of sugar, mm. Perfect. Can't go wrong. Delicious. And again, these crackers, I mean, these biscuits, crackers, however you want to put them, they're just very airy. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. They're very good on their own, or you could drop them in here, easily soak up some of that excess broth. And again, very versatile crackers. Drop a couple more in there, actually, because this is lunch. <laughs> and one heck of a decent lunch. Oh, and we have Enermix sucrose tablets, essentially, enriched with vitamins. So let's check this out. Okay. <laughs> and it's not an effervescent tablet, I know that. Mmm. It's just like a candy. It tastes like a mm, cold remedy pill. It's not very good, flavor-wise. It's lightly sweet. It's not really to taste good. It's just to give you your daily value requirement of everything from zinc to your B vitamins, vitamin E, niacin. Definitely something that it's not really about. Actually, you know what? I did kind of like them. 
They're kind of weird. Knowing there's vitamins in there, it's not too bad. Follow it up with a couple more of these. Now you could swallow these like a pill, or you can chew them. Personally, I chew them. Gives you a little something to eat throughout the day. You know, with these things, I would say take two or three after a meal. They give you 10 for the day. It's not bad. And that's lunch. I'm gonna finish the rest of this and then move over to dinner. Okay, so here's the supper component. The box is the same size as the breakfast, but it weighs about twice as much. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got some 50 gram pack of crackers. Another utensil set, just a spoon and fork. Instant coffee, sugar, and we got some rice salad. And beef medallions in gelatin. And we got this power sport bar made by Enerbite, which is the same company that made these and these brand tablets. And that's it. So let's get this laid out. And it's not looking too bad. But if we get that out into a tray, it'd be looking pretty nice. All right, so right off the bat, I wanna drain this rice salad because otherwise it's going to taste like olives on top of olives. And I mean, it's like really strong. Yeah, it has that strong scent to it. So I'm going to, and you eat this cold, so the best bet is to just drain it and drain off these excess juices without losing too much of the rice and olives because otherwise it's just a little too strong. And while we're at it, might as well check out the beef medallions and gelatin. This stuff's really interesting. These, med <laughs> these medallions are like suspended in this really weird gelatin. Check this out, it's like, look at that. It's pretty strange. That gelatin's very savory and salty. Mm. Oh wow, it's not quite like a fat. Mm. It's, um, yeah, it's like beef gelatin. All right, so I'm gonna pour this out real quick. Yeah, that's looking good. Get those excess juices out. And pretty much just some little teeny bit of rice and mainly it was just those very strong olive flavored vinegary juices down at the bottom. I'm not a big fan of that stuff. So now let's check out this Power Sport Bar. Chocolate flavored. Oh yeah, here we go. This thing's a lot like a Power Bar. If anybody's seen those before. Mmm, it has a very strong chocolate smell to it. And its texture is very soft, almost like clay. <laughs> Interesting, very malleable. Not quite as firm as a first strike bar. This is, like I said, very malleable. It smells delicious, it's like a silky smooth milk chocolate. <laughs> it smells delicious. And of course those crumbly crackers. These things are real airy, real crumbly, kind of bland. But they pretty much go with just about anything in this ration. So, it's not too bad. I mean, they give you a fair amount of them, a 50 gram pack, and three 50 gram packs total in this ration. It's not too bad at all. Well, I didn't see the small knife in there. This is gonna be great for cutting into those beef medallions. And I neglected to show you folks before. These paper towels or napkins, toilet paper, what have you. Very non-absorbent, almost just like weird thin paper. They're like the worst of the worst when it comes down to absorbent. Like literally, you'll just smear water around with these. They're not bad, but they're not great. And with this instant coffee, I'm going to add as little water as I feel I can get away with to make this what I would figure the most legitimate field espresso that you can find. I'm not exactly sure if this is how you should do it, but this is how I'm gonna do it. We'll see. Well, that's a great consistency. And check out the spoon though. I mean, that thing's not doing too good. Yeah, Italian spoons, um, that's like the worst part of this ration. Other than that, not bad. As for the coffee, or well, shall I say, espresso, because this is really kind of having that look. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that is espresso, literally. That's the way to do it. Okay, so let's check out that rice salad first. 
get a little bit of everything in here. All right, that looks pretty decent. Some ham, black olives, a little green pea in there. Mm. I am so glad I drained that this time. The last time I had this thing, a couple years ago, I didn't drain that fluid, and um, it was just a little bit too strong of olive. This time around, and eating it cold, this is the way to go. Mm. Has a very fresh, mild flavor to it. I mean, the black olive is there, but it's not overly prevalent. The ham is just right. Mm. It's mild. I kind of wouldn't mind trying this ham on its own and getting a flavor profile on that. Hmm. There's no real specific flavor to the ham. It's not overly salty. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of nitrates in it, which is kind of a plus. So many times ham products have tons of nitrates. Let's see how this bears here. Hmm. I know when a ration item is good when I'm just standing over this camera going for one bite after another. It's always a good sign. Hmm. Alright, so actually, I wouldn't mind checking out this beef medallion and gelatin scenario here. I mean, this is really interesting. These things are like just suspended in this very strange amber colored gelatin. Let's actually try a little of that out first. Mmm. It has almost like a flavor of consistency of fat, but it's gelatin. You know, it's not fat, which is pretty interesting. It's, um,. Very savory, salty. Look at those pieces of beef. Very rich. Mm. Wow. This tastes like elk summer sausage and corned beef. Mm. Oh wow. That is that is so good. Gourmet in a ration. This is like lifestyles of the rich and famous meets soldier of fortune. Check this out. I mean like seriously, gourmet. Mmm. Okay, so the gelatin with the crackers makes more sense than anything else on the crackers so far. This right here is getting, mm. oh yeah. I was wondering what to do with these crackers and the supper component. It's this right here. That's amazing stuff. Truly decadent. We don't get to try this every day. A rare treat. Delightful. Mm. I kind of want to balance that out with another bite or two of this. This rice salad with the beef medallions, and the fact is you don't have to heat up anything in this supper component other than maybe one ounce of water for your espresso. Could just drink that cold too. Mm. Speaking of which, I don't want mine getting cold. Cheers. Perfect. That literally tasted like coffee shop espresso, but that came out of a ration. Again, <laughs> this thing is mm, incredible. So far, this Italian Module B has blown my mind. The last one I had was three years outdated. The contents were all the same. Well, like, for instance, this was pretty oxidized and, um, you know, dry. This one here is very malleable and fresh. And I want to thank Sergeant Mike, who was stationed out in Italy, for sending me this thing. This was literally one of the most incredible things I could ever have sent to me. I mean, Thanks so much for sharing this with me and with everyone else here watching. Thanks so much, Mike. But anyway, let's check this out. It's malleable, delicious looking. Mmm. Oh, well. Wow. Hmm. Okay. This kind of has a texture that is almost like a Tootsie Roll, but it has, but it has this whole grain protein consistency. It seems ten times more nourishing than a Tootsie Roll ever could be. This thing is delicious. I can't even believe it. I cannot stop eating it right now. It's soft, chewy. Mm. You could literally roll this into a ball. Look at that thing. You have a good idea of its texture. And bite right in. It has a perfectly satisfying chew. The chocolate is a wispy, smooth, not overly sweet, high quality. Look at this though, it's like sticky. So you got a good idea of what this is like. Mm. Truly amazing. Anyway. This is the Italian Armed Forces Combat Food Ration Module B. One heck of an experience. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. We're old. Alright, cool. See ya.